Welcome, dear Christian friend, to pray with me on the Men United in Prayer, part four. This is the final part of the Men and Family Prayer Series 30. I'm Elder Prospero from Ealing Christian Center and Ealing Pentecostal Church in the United Kingdom. Let us pray. Our prayer points outline will be on Jesus frees us from our past, present, and future. Our security is permanent. Prayer for our younger generation, prayer of thanksgiving, and how great men of God prayed. Jesus frees us from our past, present, and future. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Lord, we release our past to you. We surrender to you all our bad memories and ask that you would heal us to complete wholeness so that they no longer hurt, torment, or control us. O oh Lord, help us not to replay our past failures so that they become a stronghold over us, but help us to put you in charge of our future. Lord, enable us to step out of our past and keep our eyes on the future. Make us a testimony to the power of your healing and deliverance. Our security is permanent. Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2. Lord, we pray that you will protect us from accidents, diseases, dangers, evil influences, and all the plans of evil people. Preserve our going out and coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. O oh Lord, help us not to be anxious about our future, but to rest in the knowledge that our future is secure in you. We pray for our younger generation. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 to 18. Lord, help all the youth, children, and young adults to listen and follow godly counselors. Help them to make future decisions based on your revelation and word and protect them from peer pressure and any ungodly influences. Lord, help them to understand the unique qualities you have placed within them and let them appreciate them. Prayer of Thanksgiving, Psalm 118 verse 1. We give thanks and praise to the Lord for his goodness and mercies endure forever. God, we thank you in advance for answers to our prayers and await the manifestation of your promises. Lord, we thank you that you are the rewarder of those who diligently seek you. How great men of God prayed. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Pray in the spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Ephesians 6 verse 18. He who runs from God in the morning will scarcely find him the rest of the day. John Bunyan. Prayer is not learned in a classroom, but in the closet. E. M. Bounds. We must begin to believe that God, in the mystery of prayer, has entrusted us with a force that can move the heavenly world 
and can bring its power down to earth and remarry. Relying on God has to begin all over again every day as if nothing had yet been done. C.S. Lewis The more you pray, the less you panic. The more you worship, the less you worry. You feel more patient and less pressured. Rick Warren I have so much to do that I shall spend the first three hours in prayer. Martin Luther Prayer does not fit us for the greater work. Prayer is the greater work. Oswald Chambers He who kneels the most stands the best. D.L. Moody How great men of God prayed. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. I would rather teach one man to pray than ten men to preach. Charles Spurgeon We have to pray with our eyes on God, not on the difficulties, Oswald Chambers. There is no other activity in life so important as that of prayer. Every other activity depends upon prayer for its best efficiency. M. E. Andros. Thank you, Lord for answering our prayers. We prayed in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This prayer is from the Ely Men Ministry Empower Prayer Task Force All Year Prayer Diary, Volume 1. Thank you, dear friend, for praying along with us. And God bless you and have a wonderful day, even as you share this prayer to invite other men on your contact list. Be blessed.